Welcome back. Any good road trip should include a visit to somewhere truly awe inspiring. This morning we head to one of the country's most beautiful ancient forests. Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. Old growth forests in North America are very rare. It's estimated that of the almost 750 million acres of forest in the U.S., only about 3.5 million acres, or 6% of that, is considered old growth. Scientists have been debating for years on just how to define them. I think the best definition that I've seen so far is you're trying to get uh, a certain number of trees in the forest that predate the lumber history for that area. Cook Forest in Northwest Pennsylvania was founded in 1927 and it's considered to be one of the finest stands of old growth white pine and hemlock in the United States. By far uh, the, the ancient tall white pine and the hemlock is really what sets Cook Forest apart. Uh, in terms of tall white pine we've got uh, three white pine that are over in that 170 foot class. Our tallest hemlock is just shy of 150 feet. It's about 148 feet tall. But this forest is not special only for the immense height of its trees. These towering centuries are truly ancient. Our oldest hemlocks and pines are around 350 years old. Uh, we have white oak and chestnut oak that are uh, approaching that. We've got actual ring data, 330 plus. The oldest known tree in the woods is actually a cucumber tree located just over my shoulder back here. It's on the ground now, but uh, um, it's the oldest known cucumber tree to science. That tree is about 440 years old. When the park was founded, it was in an effort to protect this unique environment from the ravages of the timber industry. Now, almost a century later, park management must defend the hemlocks from a new destructive force. The invasive insect hemlock woolly adelgid was discovered in Cook Forest in 2013. The tiny insect can kill trees within four to ten years of infestation and is ravaging forests across North America. Fortunately for the Cook Forest hemlocks, the park was prepared for the invaders and have been successful in protecting the cherished trees. It probably had already been here two to three years before we found it. And so we hit, we hit it pretty hard. Um, to date, we've probably treated over 700,000 diameter inches of tree. And there's no denying the spiritual aspect of taking a walk through an old growth forest. It's almost as if you're hiking through a green cathedral. There is that spiritual aspect out here. You know, that it, you, you, you get out here, you sit here long enough. A lot of times we're just so busy, we don't, we, we don't sit and listen and think. With so much of our natural world being lost to us, preserving these ancient trees should take on even greater importance. Once gone, we will never get them back. We all use wood products. We need to do it responsibly. But these old growth forest areas, is, it's really nature's showcase of what can actually happen if you let it go. Reporting from Cooksburg, Pennsylvania, taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.